is Glenn Clark with head coach Graham Miller. Coach, I know you're not a moral victory guy, but your team fell behind 2 nothing, and might have been easy to sort of pack it in there and just say, well, it's been a season. They battled, they got back into it, they had their chances, just not enough to make Yeah, I think it was, you know, that was not our performance today. That was, uh, that was something else. I can't quite describe what that performance was. But, um, you know, we had some players that really did battle hard, and I, I think overall, you know, we didn't get the performance that our, you know, supporters are looking for, what we're looking for as coaches, what our, you know, team's looking for. But, you know, the biggest thing is, you know, players like Morgan Carey um, went out there and really fought for it. Um, Alexis Sajak, who was playing in our, you know, possibly last game, she got us that goal to keep us in the game, um, you know, really went after it. And, you know, some of the other players, you know, didn't quite get it today. So um, we as coaches will, will remedy that. And, you know, the goal, you know, by next August is to, to work on as being more physically tough and mentally tough. So when it comes to these games back to back, that we're ready to put on the same performance as we did yesterday. Let's talk a little bit more about Alexis Sajak because it's not a team with many seniors, but she's won and she's been really special for you all over the years. Um, just sort of can you try to encapsulate, and, and that goal may be part of it, just what she's brought to this team and how much you're going to miss a player with Alexis. Well, Alexis is, you know, she has been every year, and, and, and you know, she goes through, um, she's had injury issues, you know, she has um, some issues with her legs, and, and that's been ongoing since she came in as a freshman, and, you know, and, you know, I coached her at club as well for two years, so I know how good she was coming in, she's really been an unbelievable player for us, she's, she is mentally tough, she's one that's really battled these injuries and has kept going, and, and those are the kind of players that we need as, as part of this program for the future, players that will give everything, leave it on the field, even if they are hurting and in pain. And, and she is one of those players that will never give up, and, and I'm really proud of her. And the other two seniors, uh, Jordan Pareto, who didn't play today, and Jess Demko, who didn't play today, for everything they've given over the last four years, because it is a big sacrifice to, to go all four, three, four years through college, and, and they, they all three of them really did a great job on and off the field for our team. The good news being that because you only have the three seniors, you have an awful lot coming back next year off a winning team that went to the postseason. I think there's a lot of reason to be optimistic about next year. Yeah, I think there is. I mean, out of the seven all-conference players we had, you know, only two of them were seniors. So, you know, there is a lot of optimism. I mean, and that's what, like I said, we're, we, we were, you know, ready to start recruiting and we're, we've already been recruiting and we're ready to have our meetings with our players to finish off this season. But, yeah, we're looking to the future now. You know, this doesn't, you know, we don't take a rest and think, all right, let's, uh, you know, let's just sit back. And we, we went 9-8-2 and, two and, you know, be happy for the next few months. No, we're going to start right away and, and we're going to build for next year. So I think there is optimism there. We just need some players to really step up and we need to get the right leadership in place for next year. Coach, uh, I know you don't like seeing it come to an end, but congratulations on a winning season and a run to the quarterfinals here in the ECAC season. We'll be talking to you as we get closer to next year. Always a pleasure, Glenn. Thank you to you and, and the rest of the staff that um, have done a great job with these videos all year. So thank you. It's been a pleasure. Coach Graham Miller, I'm Glenn Clark for GoMustangSports.com.